Hello, Denver. Ray Williams, your mortgage maestro from Summit Mortgage, coming at you as we continue down the path towards buying a home. And we talked about what to look out for after you meet with your lender. And now we're going to talk a little bit about the real estate contract. Um, great agents. They're definitely going to educate you about the dates and deadlines of different events within the real estate contract that apply to you as a buyer. I'm going to touch just on a few things that lenders are paying attention to as we work with you through the process. So the most important ones to us as your lender are going to be the title deadline, inspection, objection, and resolution deadline, the appraisal deadline, loan conditions deadline, and the all-important closing date. Now keep in mind, if your closing date is on the 31st and that's a Friday, and loan conditions is on the 28th, um, please know that the lender has to have everything from you a few days before that loan conditions deadline because it does have to go through the queue with their underwriters. And we cannot get your final loan approval and then voila, you're going to the closing table five minutes later. We live in a new world here and forward, so keep that in mind because uh, your lender's requests um, should be handled in a timely and efficient manner and sometimes um, pushed ahead of other things in life just for this small window of life where you're buying a home. A few things to look at. Are you going to be asking for the seller to pay closing costs? Talk to your lender about the structure and strategy and make sure that they game plan with your agent because this is uber importance um, if you need seller paid closing costs. Owner's title insurance. Now this is with relationship to who picks the title company. And in Colorado, he who picks the title company pays this fee. So talk to me about my beliefs on that as a buyer. Um, HOA fees, if you're buying a condo or a townhouse, make sure to try to find out what you can expect to estimate for HOA fees up front due and payable at closing because when you go to settlement, you'll bring a lump sum amount that will cover your down payment, closing costs, and any other things like upfront HOA fees. So make sure your lender is educating you about what to possibly expect. But please know they won't have the exact number because they have to get it from the property management company. So in short, like I said, quick and fast, but your agent will educate you in breadth on the real estate contract. So as we continue down this path towards home ownership, good luck out there. Have fun looking at houses and we will talk to you soon. Ray Williams, Summer Mortgage.